over in Taichung, a young couple is showing that you can do good and do good business at the same time. The two of them opened a fried rice business in 2016. Since the very beginning, they've given back to their community by donating food to the homeless and other people in need. Today, they managed their original restaurant along with two branches, and business has never been better. Thin beef slices are tossed into a hot wok and fried until lightly brown. Then in go fresh eggs, white rice and a generous handful of greens, which are fried until their aroma fills up the kitchen. Fried rice is a simple dish, but there's an art to getting it perfect. When it comes to fried rice, the key is the so-called wok hay, or the breath of the wok. If the breath of the wok is strong, then every bite you fry up will be fragrant. Next, you need to use very good ingredients. For example, the rice. You should use rice that's at least grade A. As for the eggs, we use washed eggs. So our eggs are fresh, our oil is fresh, our rice is good, and our ingredients, such as beef and chicken, are also the freshest available. Zan Minqi owns a fried rice business. He previously worked in marketing but was inspired to open a restaurant after he tasted the delicious fried rice of a veteran chef in Taipei. At the time, Jun had no capital, so he and his girlfriend went overseas to work and save up cash. At the time, I said to the master chef, after I return with my savings, I want to learn from you and then open a store of my own in Taichung. The master chef agreed. In 2016, the couple rented a small storefront in Taichung and began selling fried rice. They also began donating fried rice to churches to help out the disadvantaged. Even after their business expanded into two new branches, the couple continued to donate food. Sometimes we stir fry something new or we have extra food. We send that to the local children's home or the foundation for the homeless. There are homeless people who line up for food at the foundation. It's only a small fried rice business, but John puts care into every detail. He makes sure to give back to the community and to make every plate a labour of love.